All right, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, hello, it's your buddy, Mr. G. Today we are talking about our digital photography. We are going to do a project. We're going to do a kaleidoscope project this week, and we're going to work with a photo that we have. And if we quickly go in here to the kaleidoscope, there's a slideshow here that we can go through. So basically, it is a central design that you are radiating out. So you're basically, we're going to be bisecting some pictures. This is a fellow artist of mine that I know, one of my good friends here. And these are actually pictures of oil stains in parking lots that he takes photos of. And uh, he has a mandala series here that he puts them in there. Okay. So that's basically what we're going to do. You can do it with all kinds of things. You can do it with uh, organic things. You can do it with architectural things. Uh, but we're going to play around with that. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump over here into Photopia here. And I made this one here and that's what we're going to do here. So that's kind of, you got an idea of what we're going to be driving at. So let's go ahead and start this. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to new. We're going to make a new folder. Go ahead and make a kaleidoscope your name and let's make it a, make sure you're on inches. And then we're going to make it a five inch by five, or I'm sorry, let's make 10 inch, 10 inch by inch and dpi of 300 white background is fine let's go ahead and create that okay all right so the first thing we want to do is i have my rulers on here so if you go up here to view you can get your rulers you just check that right there or command r that's going to help you out because we're going to move things around on regular angles here um, now you don't have to follow regular angles, but in this sample, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then once you want to vary away from that a little bit, you're welcome to. Okay. So first we're going to get an image and what we're going to do, we're going to put it up here in the top right corner and we're going to put it, since we have a 10 inch by 10 inch, uh, uh, canvas here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it one fourth of the size. We're going to make it five inches by five inches. And you can see the rulers there, my, where my cursor moves actually tracks on the rulers there so that helps you measure out now also you have your guidelines that will uh, show up here as we put an image in here so let's go ahead and find an image i am going to open in place and i'm going to go to downloads and i am going to use this blue city picture or that i got here and we're going to place it in there okay now once i've got it there i need to go in i'm going to Place it so that I am happy with a five inch by five inch type selection there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my marquee tool here and I'm going to line up right at five inches and I'm going to click and I'm going to go up to five inches and make a perfect selection of there. Okay, I'm going to go here when I place it, it makes it a smart image. We'll go ahead and we'll rasterize that just to simplify that so it's just a regular layer. Um, and not a smart layer. So I've got that and I'm going to go ahead and get my move tool here. Get move that out. We can command C to copy, command V to paste it on a new layer. So I've got my new layer there, my original. I can go ahead and turn that off and actually we'll always go ahead and throw that away just to simplify things. All right, so now I've got my layer here. Command D, make sure you have nothing selected here. So that is what we're gonna start with here, okay? So I'm gonna take my layer and I'm gonna move it up here into the corner, okay? Again, you see those smart lines right when I'm right at the middle, it gives me that red line there so I can line things up. So I'm gonna take it and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit. I'm gonna get my hand, move over here and guys are on a touchpad a super handy thing is holding the Z for your quick key and just moving at 45 degree angles will let you zoom in or out of your image okay what I want to do we're going to make a selection what I want to do I was going to take my selection tool I want to cut this at 45 degrees right in half so I'm going to go and the tool I could use you could use a lot of tools you could just use your regular lasso tool and stop on the corners um, we are going to use the when you hold down your lasso selection I'm going to use the polygonal lasso selection tool okay so the polygon lasso tool the reason i'm going to use that is because it'll work in straight lines and i'm going to click right here as close as i can get to the corner i'm going to click right on the corner okay and then zooming back out 
I'm going to take that line all the way down and intersect it right on the corner. Click again. Click. Click. So that I have a selection that cuts it right in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to Command C to copy that. Command V to paste it. So I've got that triangle right there. Command Z. Okay. Go ahead and turn that one off right now. I'm going to go back. We're going to repeat that process one more time. Again, I'm going to click right on the corner. I'm going to drag right at 45 degrees. Go down. This time I'm going to grab the top half. So basically all we are doing, and I'm going to go over here, double click, make that selection. Again, make sure I'm on the right layer here, my original. Command C, Command V to copy and to paste. So now I have two layers like that. I'm going to take my original layer. See, I've got two layers there cut into diamond shapes there, triangles. I'm going to take my original layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and I'm going to go ahead and lock it so I can preserve it in case I need it again. Okay, but those are the pieces that we're basically going to build all of these with. Okay, so let's go ahead and first I'm going to take, um, let's take the bottom half here first. So let's start with that. So I'm going to take that bottom half here. Okay, now some commands that are going to speed this up very quickly. Uh, obviously, Command C, Command V is going to copy and paste. Um, command J is duplicate layer. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Up. So when I duplicate layer, I'm going to duplicate with using command and the J as in John, Jacob, Jingleheimer, Joseph, um, and make that copy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to first, I am going to copy that command J to copy that layer. So now I have a copy. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to rotate. Let's go ahead and see transform. Let's go ahead and rotate 90 degrees and I want to rotate to the right. So I have that right there. Okay. So I'm going to get my V, my move tool. I'm going to place it right there when it's right at 45 degrees in the center and center. I get those red lines right there. Okay. So I can say command zero so you can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to again command J to duplicate that layer. So I've got a duplicate of that there. So in this time I'm going to edit and I'm going to transform and let's flip vertically. Uh, is that what I want to do? Edit, transform, flip horizontally. That's what I want to do. And there's really not a right or wrong way to do this. But basically, you are going to keep rotating this and moving it around and playing with your parts until you have a central radial design here. So I'm going to go transform. And I'm going to let's put this one, place it right up there. We'll make a box here in the middle when I get it right in the center. Give me those red lines like that. Now I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to flip that one vertical or horizontally around this way. So I will go file yeah, or edit and I'm going to transform and I'm going to flip horizontal Command Z, I gotta make a copy of it first, right? Command J, then I'm going to edit, transform, flip horizontal, get my move tool, move this guy over here, okay? So again, there's not a straight path you have to follow to that, however you wanna transform your angles or take yours in, but going at 45 degrees is going to uh, speed things up for you, okay? If you kind of have a hard time wrapping your head around this. Now, if you get here, okay, you could continue to cut and paste and rotate, but since you have a whole block up here, why don't we just take all four of those shapes? We're gonna hold down Shift, 
and we're going to select all of them there. And let's go ahead and just group those. We'll hit Command G is going to group those. Command G as in Gorgeous Greg. Okay, so I've got all those selected. Now I'm going to make a copy of that. Command J to copy that layer. And then I am going to flip that layer, transform, and we're going to flip it vertically this time. And then I will take my move tool and I will, ah, command Z, let's open it up. It's going to give me problems. Grab all those, hold down shift, make sure I got them all selected. Then we're just going to bring them down. Again, I'll get that red line right there that pops up. Shows me I'm perfectly centered, all right? So there we've got a cool little composition start, right? We've got a central thing. Again, this is coming from the center. So it is a radial design, okay? Um, can I go offbeat with my radial design? That is up to you. It's all about aesthetics here, okay? So we got that. I'm going to go ahead and close that layer. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lock these guys just so I don't accidentally move them around. So I got those. Now let's turn our attention back to the other part here. We've got this guy. We'll go ahead and drag him up to the top. Okay, so I've got that part of the picture. Okay, so let's play with that part of the picture now. Okay, um, let us say, let's get our move tool. Oh, what did I do? I must have dropped him in a folder. Sure did. I want to pull him up there. There we go. All right, so there's our move tool here. And let's go ahead and we'll just rotate this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and make him a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and get my move tool. And I'm going to hold down shift because I don't want to distort this. Let's make it a little bit smaller. How about like right about there? Okay, and then I'm going to again make a copy. I'm going to say Command J to make a copy. Got a copy, and then we will go to Edit, and we're going to transform. We're going to rotate that 90 degrees to the right, whichever way you want to rotate. Just keep going the same way, basically, so you don't get confused. I'm going to go back in here, get my Move tool, and I'm just going to move this guy over here and get him centered. Where's my center? Right there and right there. And you see I get those red lines to tell me that I'm perfectly centered. Okay. Then I do that. I'll go ahead and do Command J again. Copy my layer. Basically just keep repeating this process. Transform. Rotate 90 degrees right. Move this down. Center. Command J to repeat a fourth time. Edit. Transform. Rotate 90 degrees. We'll move him over here. There we go. All right. So then when I go out, I start to get this cool little design here. Okay. So I've got that. I can go ahead and group those if I would like to repeat them. So let's say I want to repeat those. Um, let's go ahead. And this time uh, we could collapse those layers too. So if you want to collapse those all into a layer, we can do that by merging them. So you could either right click and merge those layers or you could hit command E. Uh, I am just going to group them and say command G to group, put them in a folder. So I got those all in a folder, I'll click that layer, duplicate that layer. As you can see, it's like a puzzle. Just keep cutting and pasting and making triangles and making more until you have a cool looking radial design. When do you know when you're done? When you have something that you find visually appealing. Okay, so I'm just going to keep playing with this a little bit. I got that copy there, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate that. So I'm going to open them up, go ahead and make sure I got them all selected. And then I'm going to get my move tool. And I'm going to hold down shift because I want to rotate exactly at 90 degrees. So that looks kind of cool. I could resize it if I wanted to, holding down shift. If you hold down shift and option, it'll size and resize from the center, which is very, very helpful for this project. Again, that's holding down shift to constrain the size and option at the same time, and that will allow you to resize from the center out. 
so you preserve that center okay so I'm gonna make that I like that I like how that breaks up right there I'm gonna line that up okay all right so at this point you can keep going you could add more pieces if you wanted to cut the pieces in more than just 45 degrees you could um, you want to go ahead and make a interesting design that is the point of this if you wanted to go and you wanted to do some color adjustments and playing with colors you could so let's go in like say if I go and just do an adjustment layer on that layer we just did we have selected um, you play with vibrance let's play with hue saturation um, let's see if we can get like kind of a nice kind of purpley color, kind of punch up those yellows back there. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. You can do that. You could hit some of your other folders here. So there's that one. There's this one. Okay. You could punch up like vibrance. You could change things to black and white and anything you want to do. Okay. But you are basically making a kaleidoscope and you will dissect it into shapes and you will keep radiating those shapes out from the center okay so that's this week's project you're going to do three of those you're going to turn it into your google classroom if you have any questions please send me an email uh, and uh, do good work and i'll see you soon